I'm Evan Thomason for This Week in Santa Clarita. Right now I'm joined with Sergeant Darren Harris from the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department. Uh, Darren, the summer months are coming up and there are a lot of people that are going to be very active this summer and there's a lot of safety tips that I know the Sheriff's Department has to offer. Absolutely. You know, as the weather warms up and there are literally thousands of pools in the backyards in our community, as well as in this day and age with uh, some vacant properties, there's some dangerous pools as well. You know, water's everywhere and every year we respond to calls of uh, children in, in, uh, in need who have fallen into pools who are, um, you know, have the potential for drowning. So, you know, always when it warms up and the kids are starting to get around the pool and play and do all these things, we like to reiterate our message about safety and some things that parents can do in order to ensure that their children are safe around the pool. Already this year, even though it hasn't been warm yet, uh, we've responded to uh, three incidents, two where uh, two-year-old children were pulled from pool and fortunately they survived uh, and we had an elderly female that did uh, drown. So um, already before it's warmed up, we've already seen some of this. So what we do to tell parents now is that always make sure that the children are supervised and attended at the pool. That is the first and foremost. Uh, young children are attracted to the water. It literally takes seconds. Uh, for them to get into the water and to drown. Uh, don't, be, don't be fooled or by, by some of these flotation devices or these floaties and think that that is the uh, sole source of keeping your child afloat. They will take them off, they will deflate. Uh, if you get a false sense of security on these types of devices, uh, inevitably something bad can happen. Continuing on with summer activities, one event that's coming up, of course, is the 4th of July. And I know that the Sheriff's Department does have tips um, and warnings and uh, information for people regarding fireworks and how to enjoy the 4th of July safely. Absolutely. 4th of July is always a critical uh, time of the year for us. We respond to, on average, about uh, 340 calls per day here in Santa Clarita. Uh, those jump up about 160 more on top of our regular calls for service on the 4th of July. That's just for that 24-hour period. If I look at the entire weekend, we're looking at, you know, probably three or 400 additional calls for service that are taking up resources that could be critical to saving a life to respond to these calls about illegal fireworks. All fireworks are illegal in the city of Santa Clarita. All fireworks are illegal in the surrounding Santa Clarita Valley, even the so-called safe and sane variety. They are illegal, can't use them. Uh, you shouldn't be possessing even the safe and sane ones as well in Santa Clarita. Um, and you should go to a sanctioned show. Uh, this year, the Westfield Valencia Town Center uh, is having a show that's sanctioned by the city of Santa Clarita. Can well, sponsored by the city of Santa Clarita. Sponsored. sponsored and sanctioned by the city of Santa Clarita. Of course, we'll have safety personnel on hand. Uh, they'll ensure that, that, that uh, that's done in the safest possible environment. So we encourage that. We also encourage though that they do so safely and responsibly. Right. Uh, just as dangerous as uh, fireworks is, is uh, drinking and driving, that type of thing. We also uh, point out that not only are they dangerous in terms of a fire hazard, mm -hmm. but they're dangerous in terms of uh, injury. Every right. year we see injuries, uh, sometimes substantial or severe injuries caused by fireworks. And I know another thing that's a big issue in the Santa Clarita Valley is summertime parties. Absolutely of concern are some of the parties that we respond to. On, on average, we respond to 40, uh, music, loud music or party calls every Friday and Saturday night in the city of Santa Clarita. And uh, last year we responded to 4,000 of these types of calls. This year alone it's 1,200. Uh, we've got over 60 schools and 50,000 students in, in, in the Santa Clarita Valley. And as you can imagine, as people are getting out of school and they're celebrating, they're graduating, they're going to their grad parties and their proms and everything else, is that uh, they're going to go out and they're going to enjoy their, their time. Just as important in these social activities, it, are to our kids. We want to ensure our kids and teenagers are acting responsibly, that they're supervised, and that they're they're not getting themselves into trouble or to making uh, poor life decisions. So, what we want to point out is, with the sheer number of the calls that we respond to, many of them, although a majority of our youth and our teens are acting responsibly and are making good choices and good decisions, some of these parties do involve unsupervised teens that are engaging in unlawful or uh, unlawful or behavior, right. and uh, or even just irresponsible behaviors that can lead to poor decision making. We want parents to take the responsibility. Again, I mentioned 50,000 students. Uh, deputy sheriffs can't be in every, in every household, in every backyard, in every parking lot, uh, in every alleyway. It's up to the parents to know where their kids are at and where they're going. And if we do end up writing one of those, one of those um, truancy or curfew tickets, as I mentioned, um, then parents need to understand we're doing that for a reason. We're doing that to ensure the safety of the kids. Um, and we want to ensure that they don't fall victim to a tragic traffic collision or something along those lines. So, uh, again, if they got any questions, Sheriff's Department has these brochures. They're available on our website at www.scvsheriff.com. They're available through the city, uh, city of Santa Clarita, the city hall, and the city's website as well. So, 
please pick one up and uh, supervise those kids at those parties. And just as important as the adult parties, we want them to be responsible and be respectful of their neighbors. Absolutely. Uh, great information uh, from the Sheriff's Department. I want to thank you, Darren, for joining us. Um, on behalf of the City of Santa Clarita and the Santa Clarita Valley Sheriff's Department, uh, we're hoping everybody has a very safe uh, summer season. For This Week in Santa Clarita, I'm Evan Thomason. <laughs> Ah, hey, Mike, give me another one. The cost of one more drink, four fifty. The cost of a DUI, severe fines and loss of freedom, causing innocent loss of life, unimaginable. The value of acting responsibly? On second thought, why don't you call me a cab? Priceless. Drinking and driving are not worth the cost. Call a friend or taxi to get home safely.